Monster Girl is a heroine from the universe of Invincible. And though she's a bit of a minor character, I still think she's pretty entertaining. And since the new Amazon show hasn't touched her origin at all, at least not at the end of season one, I thought I would explain it instead. Monster Girl's real name is Amanda, her last name is currently unknown, and she was born into a rich family and was a bit of a prodigy. And through hard work, she was able to graduate from school a few years early. And she was also a bit of a typical spoiled rich kid who went to the best and most expensive schools, the kind that have school trips to Europe. And while in Europe, she caught the eye of a pretty boy and she liked him back. But unfortunately, the boy's grandmother didn't like the idea of anyone being with her grandson. So she warned Monster Girl off. But of course, that just made Monster Girl want the boy even more. And so the two of them snuck into a barn and spent the night together. The grandmother spotted them and this time, rather than warn Monster Girl off, she decided to place an arcane curse on her. The curse transformed her into a monster, though it wasn't permanent. At first, she couldn't actually control the transformations and they were just random. But over time, she learned to control the transformation and could do it at will. But as time went on, she noticed that she was getting younger. And after many tests to confirm this, she realized that every time she transformed into the monster, she got younger. So she tried not to use her powers as much as possible, but of course, there was always someone who needed her help, and she decided that helping other people was more important than her getting a bit younger. After all, she can always just stop using her powers and grow up a bit before she uses them again. And she also discovered that the younger she got, the stronger her monster form became. Now, even though she decided to keep using her powers to help people, there would obviously reach a point where she'd have to stop or else she'd turn into a fetus. But fortunately for her, that wasn't actually an issue as Robot, or Rudy as he likes to be known now, was able to figure out a way to stop her from getting younger when she changed. And so she now is able to turn into a monster and grow as a normal person does. And that's her origin. It's a little bit short, but there you go. Personally, I always thought the curse thing was a bit silly. I mean, I don't think giving someone superpowers is a bad thing. In fact, I would love this curse to be put on me, because not only do you get to transform into a monster who's super strong and super tough, but you also can stay young forever. I mean, if she ever grew old, she'd just keep turning into a monster till she got younger, then grew up, then get younger. She could basically keep herself young for all of time. I mean, how is that a curse? The only logic I can see to this is that the grandmother figured if she de-aged the girl, then her grandson wouldn't be interested in her anymore. But that still doesn't really make much sense because it took a long time for her to get younger. Maybe the grandmother had just been hitting the gin a bit heavy that night and messed up the spell or something. But what do you think of this origin? And do you think this counts as a curse? Because I really don't think it does. Be sure to let us know in the comments. And I'd just like to quickly remind everyone that we have some merchandise available on our store. And to say thanks to all of you who have donated to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching. And feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.